was check if these people had put up a defence, and three of them had. And they just said, well, they're not, they've not put up a case, we want the default settlement. So they didn't even check whether a, whether the, a defence had been put up and registered. Um, I think two of them, they didn't actually detail any charges in it. They just wanted the default settlement anyway, and the judge threw those out. Um, and there was a couple that they said the judge said technically it was in, in default, but the whole behaviour of, AC, of ACS law was despicable. Um, and uh, so all eight of them were thrown out, um, and they were, they were handed their asses on so many different counts. Um, but it's just it's just funny that they they failed so spectacularly. The, the, the thing with all of these settlement things is they don't want to go to court because that costs money. They want people to pay up. It's an extortion racket. It's nothing more or less than an extortion racket, and they don't want to have to go to court. Uh, the only reason they do go to court is so that they can officially say on their letters to people, we we have taken people to court and we've won. That's what they wanted. They wanted to go in half an hour later, t drink their cappuccino and come out with all these default settlements just handed to them. And they failed spectacularly on all eight fronts. So... Well, I'll I'll just sort of put um, put a closure on what you just said with um, a quote from uh, Judge Burse, I believe you pronounce his name as, um, who was uh, presiding over this uh, this application, and he he says this: I should end by recording that I am not sorry to have reached the conclusion I have in refusing all the requests for default judgment. In all these circumstances, a default judgment arrived at without notice by means of essentially administrative procedure, even one restricted to a financial claim, seems to me to be capable of working real injustice. So I think um, the judge uh, summed up his views uh, on that quite uh, quite clearly. Um, sorry, Roy, was there anything else you wanted to add to this? Yeah. Um, well, I've you mentioned sort of something about the server being under attack, and I'm just wondering if it's being hijacked as well. Uh, what happened with Media Defender? Do you, do you know Media Defender? Yes, yeah, there's uh, the people. Uh, they also, that. I have a friend of mine, he's actually hosting a mirror of the leaked emails, uh, and this actually shows, I'm pretty surprised if they not leaked any um, kind of uh, small fragments of text from ACS Law and things that they said and did. Is there the no email leaks themselves? Yeah, because I mean, yeah, emails, uh, some criminal... The email leaks. And show well, the email leaks. Text. Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say the email leaks hit all the, the torrent trackers, all the main ones, yeah. very quickly. But it's yeah. also, they've also been present on Usenet um, binaries for quite a long time as well. Um, so certainly if there was any sort of attack against uh, any of the trackers that were hosting a, a tracker, the tracker file, um, it's certainly been on Usenet for for a long time since yeah. the leak was first made. So um, evidence to show a certain intent to uh, violate the, exception, the exceptional rules. or uh, I suppose... Uh, one, th one more thing I wanted to say, though, is uh, there is a different copyright uh, troll. Is It's called copyright troll. I think that's the first time people use the term. Uh, it's a company called Right Haven, I think, or Rights Haven. And yes. what they do is they pick somebody else's fights and they go after companies. And more recently, I think they fought for Associated Press, which was bullying or, or at least kind of threatening people with... Uh, copyright claims. I'm not sure if they actually use the services of a troll, or if, which basically means they do it by proxy because they don't want to tarnish their own name. Uh, I, but, I believe Gordon brought up Right Haven last episode. Am I right in thinking that? Was it? Was you, Gordon? Yeah. You spoke about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I right, show. Yeah. As I said, I I, I love Tech Up, and Tech Up I've been following um, the Right Haven. Among that's one of many different threads that they keep uh, coming back with. Sometimes companies or individuals just make it so easy by screwing up so badly, so often and so publicly that it's hard not to write about them. And Right Haven are one of these, um, you know, the, the company that sort of encourages sharing. And then when people do share, they'll sue anyone and everyone, you know, 200 and odd um, cases, suing bloggers, suing forum operators, um, forum moderators, or well, you allowed one sentence from such and such a story to be in your forums posted by another user, not by the, the forum people, and then encouraged to share it in the first place, and they say, oh, that's copyright infringement, we own that, pay up or we take you to court and we want your domain name from you. You know, I mean, these, these right-haven people are really clueless. They're 
completely clueless. Um, so yeah, I mean, Tech Doctors, they've been following lots of different angles to Right Haven and just how stupid they are. So yeah, it's 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 a, it's a worrying. Uh, I mean, it's a worrying concept. This whole. Um copyright infringement allegation uh, system because one could argue that it's quite a good way if say for example myself you and Roy made our own uh, made our own music track if we intentionally leaked that onto a tracker and just waited for enough people to download it uh, we could then employ the services of a company like ACS Law Davenport and Lions or or whatever um, and obviously chase up all these people that have um, shared the the file, and it, it does smack to me. You know, you look at the trackers, and you you look at sort of Torrent Freak, which says I think it has a has a feature every week about the top ten most pirated movies. Um, sounds like and, intentionally. Uh, with yeah, Trump, that's this clear. Exactly. Sounds like movie companies actually put the files there too. And it, it could well be. So, we'll, we'll never know. Um, and it, it's a it's a very good way to make money, especially if your product is lacking and your product normally under normal circumstances wouldn't make the revenue required to uh, to break even, as it were. It could be one I could argue a very good way to get a return on on a, on a substandard product. Um, just a, yeah, just a theory. Really- yeah, it's, it's more than that, though. It's more than that. What Right Haven do is they'll actually look at stuff that someone else publishes. After it's published, they then buy the rights for it and then start suing. But the thing is, where it's originally published um, is some um, some journal, um, some New Jersey, sort of New Jersey newspaper or something, um, and they actually encourage people to share it. They've got, I mean, I've got on my side, um, you know, share this via Twitter, share it via Yahoo, um, blog lines, whatever. I've got a button for that. I want people to share my stuff. The difference is I'm not a troll. <laughs> Mine's is all Creative Commons. If you want to share it, go for it. Um, but that's the, the original source is actually encouraging people. They want people to share it. And then they're selling the rights to that piece, to Right Haven, knowing that Right Haven are going round and saying, to all the people who were encouraged to share it, that you're doing it illegally, you know, mm. um, that that's that's a really kind of crazy thing. And even worse than that, they are so indiscriminate that they even t- 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 tried to sue the, the original people that they bought the rights from. Mm. They see, saw that journal and said, "Oh, that's co- that's infringing our, co- our copyright, so we're suing you." That's the original source that they bought it from. <laughs> they don't didn't even <laughs> check that. So they're suing the original source as well. That's how insane Right Haven are. Could be done with patents as well. You could buy a certain patent from a company and then sue the company for implementing <laughs> the ideas which you made up in the first place. Uh, especially mm. when you start to pass patents around. And I think quite a few people have heard, because it's been on all sorts of big sites, that the uh, the big, the world's biggest patent troll, which is a spin-off of Bill Gates and Microsoft, and it's a friend of Bill Gates as well. And they both have patent trolls lying around and uh, that, for the first time, this person has begun suing companies and not actually using one of his 1,000 plus uh, proxies to sue companies and to try to extort them into paying uh, protection money. So you start to see how this whole pyramid scheme and the whole protection racket operation by lawyers is uh, taken into the streets. And the more mess it makes, the more people will scream and demand change. So now when you have right haven going around and misusing copyrights and having people going berserk because you know quite frankly copyright infringement can be even you visit a web page with a copyrighted image uh which then goes into your web browser cache which means you have a copy of the image and you know it should be kicked off the web for supposedly you know three strike law or whatever uh receive a warning at best and well, on, so on. so Sorry, yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just, I was just going to quickly add the on the right haven um, thing. They, the, the, the fired out so many lawsuits. That, that's the, that's their business. As they sue people, that's how they make their money. Um, and the, the, what they weren't, what they were expecting was a lot of judges just to sign off on these payment slips and just rake in a lot of cash. Um, and more and more judges are looking at these and going, "Hey, this is fair use. What are you suing for?" But unfortunately, when they're they're trying to backpedal on these, as, as the, the different judges are starting to spot that this is abuse and the actual use is fair use and it was encouraged and that there is no case and they're throwing out these cases, 
Um, the more the right haven are trying to backpedal um, on and drop in these cases, unfortunately, um, they've been countersued by quite a few of the people that they've threatened. They've been countersued.